How you doing guys? If you've ever been uh, in the woods for any length of time, you've probably noticed that even no matter how far you get away from civilization or other people, you'll still be able to find trash that people have left there somehow. And while that seems regrettable at the time, it can actually be a really good thing if you're in a survival situation, if you're lost out in the woods, because you always have access to materials such as plastic and things like that that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get otherwise because you're out in the middle of nowhere. And you can use these things in a survival situation to collect food and water and do all sorts of other things. And he, one thing I have to show you today is how to make a uh, field expedient fish trap for minnows and tadpoles and other small fish out of a two liter bottle. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you're out in the woods, you realize you're lost and you're thinking, oh shit, I gotta find a way to get some food. You found a, a location like a small lake or a stream, you see some minnows or some tadpoles or something like that, some small fish, but you have no idea how to get them. Well, luckily for you, Bubba left some trash out there and he's done hog hunting and you find a root beer bottle. And I'm going to show you how to turn this root beer bottle or any other two liter for that matter into a field and fish trap. First what you're going to want to do <coughs> is cut the label off. Today I'm using my uh, Ontario Rat folder. Take that label off. Although that's not really a completely necessary step. I uh, you don't want to leave any more trash lying around than you need to, so I usually take the label off. Helps you see what's going on too. Helps you see if any fish have gotten into the trap. Then what you want to do next is make a cut, basically at the just past where the bottle stops sloping and becomes straight. You want to make a cut there all the way around the bottle and remove that top of the bottle. So being careful not to cut yourself, you want to pierce the bottle and then cut. You can do this with scissors or anything like that too. If you for some reason manage to find yourself stuck in the woods without even a knife, it's conceivable that you could do this with a sharp rock or a stick if you poked a bunch of holes in it and then use something to connect those holes along the outside of the bottle. It doesn't have to be too pretty looking. Just cut it all the way off. Okay. So what you have here, you've got the bottom half, the two liter, and then you have the top half with the cap on. You want to remove the cap. And then all you have to do is insert the top half into the bottom half, uh, invert it upside down. And it, it should fit pretty snugly just by forcing it in there like that. If you want to make it eat a little bit more secure, you can punch a few holes along the edge here and put some sort of twine or cordage or whatever you have at your shoelace maybe and use it to kind of sew on the top portion into, in there. You don't want to do anything too permanent because you do have to take that piece out to get to the fish. So now you can see that this will work just like many other fish traps or crab traps or what have you. You place this in the water just at or under the surface. The minnows swim around, they swim into the trap, and then once inside, they tend to follow along the wall to try and get out, and so they become trapped and they don't know to swim out and in back through this little hole. So I mean, well, maybe one out of a few hundred may finally find its way out. It's a pretty good way to catch some fish. And that you can use make this using any two liter bottle, three liter bottle. You can even do it with a 20 ounce bottle, soda bottle. It doesn't work quite as well because the interior is much smaller so it's easier for them to get out. But uh, it will still work. I've actually used one before and it works pretty well. So you want to put this in the, the shallows of a lake or a, any sort of body of water that you see that has these small fish in it. Pretty much just under the surface or even the top part can be poking out of the surface just a little bit because those minnows tend to swim around at or just a few inches under the surface, so that'll lead them right into this thing. It doesn't seem to matter which way you're pointing this. If it's really shallow, you don't want to be pointing it towards the shore. You kind of want to have it pointing out towards the open body of water or along the shoreline, parallel to the shoreline. But I've, I've seen it work either way. You want to probably find some way to, to anchor this so it doesn't get knocked away or float away if there's wind or anything like that. So you can either punch a hole in it and use a cordage to tie it to a stake, or you can tie, uh, place several stakes around it in the water. If it's shallow enough, it'll just kind of block it in, or even get some sort of, a, if you can get a Y-shaped stick and use it to kind of stake it to the ground like this and stake it into the mud. But you definitely don't want this thing floating away on you. But this is actually really easy to construct. You can do it in like two seconds. You know, not literally anyways. But you saw how fast it took me to make this, and you can use this to catch minnows and tadpoles, even small crabs and stuff like that. So uh, I should help you hopefully stay alive if you ever get stuck in the wilderness. So I hope you enjoyed that. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.